Despite tying the knot in a lavish fairy tale wedding, it's not a secret that King Charles was not the love of Princess Diana's life. The late Princess of Wales also had romances with the likes of heart surgeon Hassan Etkan and the son of the former Herod's owner Dottie Alfade. However, Diana once confessed that her greatest love had been none of these men and was in fact her former bodyguard, who she once said was bumped off and killed after rumors of their romance began circulating in the royal family. Barry Manicky worked as a protection officer for the late royal between 1984 and 1986 and accompanied her on many royal engagements and other trips. His company came at a time when her marriage to Charles was on the rocks and it's believed that Mr. Manicky became a comforting shoulder for her to cry on, the Mirror reports. However, in 1986, he was moved on from his post after there were reportedly concerns that he and Diana had grown a little too close. Just weeks later in 1987, he tragically died at the age of just 39 as a result of a motorbike accident. However, Diana's true feelings about her secret love were not revealed until 2017. 20 years after her own death that was caused by a tragic car crash in Paris in 1997. Between 1992 and 1993, the royal sat down and was filmed talking about all manner of subjects with speech coach Peter Settle. Parts of these clips were later broadcasted on Channel 4 as part of the documentary Diana, in her own words. During the program, Diana claimed that she believed Mr. Manuki had been bumped off despite an inquest and further investigations ruling his death was an accident. She was careful to not disclose his name as she said, When I was 24 or 25 I fell deeply in love with someone who worked in this environment. It was all found out and he was chucked out then was killed. That was the biggest blow of my life, I must say. Diana denied that the relationship was ever sexual and insisted that Mr. Manuki had been more of a father figure to her. She added, I was happy to give all this up, to go off and live with him. It got so difficult. People got so jealous and bitchy in this house so eventually he had to go. Three weeks after he left he was killed in a motorbike accident. He was the greatest love I've ever had. That was a real killer. Eventually in 1992, Charles, who by then was having an affair with his now wife Camilla, and Diana separated and their divorce was finalized in 1996. The news of their split came 11 years after they tied the knot in a lavish ceremony at St. Paul's Cathedral on July 29, 1981. As part of a settlement, Charles and Diana had agreed to share custody of their two sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. The former Princess of Wales was also reportedly awarded a lump sum of £17 million along with £350,000 each year to run her private office and was given permission to keep her apartments at Kensington Palace. However, one thing she was completely stripped of was her title of Her Royal Highness. From then on, she became known as Diana, Princess of Wales which later led to a heartbreaking conversation between the royal and her then 14-year-old son Prince William which left her in tears. According to Diana's former butler, Paul Burrell, the young heir had reportedly told his mum, don't worry mummy, I will give it back to you one day when I am king. However, William's promise to his late mother could never be fulfilled as almost exactly a year after the divorce was finalized, Diane was sadly killed in a tragic car crash in Paris on August 31, 1997. Just me.